Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm Daryl. And I'm Sherry. And we're Ditching Default. We're happy to have you back and watch another episode as we dive into part two of Moab, and it's just finishing Arches National Park. This struggle got purpose and we grow. So whatever role we have to take next, all I need to know is that we'll roll. We're going to kind of wrap up Arches. So it's Arches Part 2. After this, we'll still be in Moab, but we use that as a jumping off point for Canyonlands. So the three hikes that we will actually be going through is Double Arch, the Windows, and then we'll move over to Devil's Garden area. So to kick off this episode, Daryl actually goes to Arches for sunrise. We had a 6 a.m. timed entry. We talked about those timed entries last episode and um, you took advantage, which was very ambitious, so you went out on your own. I drove all the way to the park um, and parked at the Petrified Dunes overlook area and was able to catch the sunrise coming up over the windows and double arch. that experience but you can never capture what your oh. eyes can see oh yeah nothing the video. yeah the pictures in the video don't do it justice to the actual feeling yeah yeah so it's amazing and also there was hardly anybody there yeah i was able to snap pictures in the middle of the road taking my time you know filming everything that i wanted to film um, with no kids in tow or anything like that so i really took advantage of that you know, a lot of great enjoyed myself you came and, back and getting that yeah. yeah, and then we packed up and then we went back into the park and we started hiking. So, yeah. to make it into the park, uh, over there should be a bit of an upgrade to enter the park. Yeah. Oh the double arch, like you just pretty much get out of your car. And then once you're there, though, the reason it's so fun for kids is there's just tons of rock scrambling. Just say half a mile to the double arch. And walking up to it, you got these two massive arches that you kind of see from, you know, the parking lot. And as you get closer, they just kind of get bigger and bigger. But what you don't realize is how much rock scrambling is inside of it. And you can kind of walk up and climb up. And when you're actually up there, when me and Devin went and did the scrambling, you look down and everybody's really small. So that's how high you can climb up and scramble inside. Yeah. So it's not much of a long hike, but just kind of like a playground in the Red Rocks for them. What do you think about this arch? Good. Yeah, you like uh, climbing around the rocks? Yeah. I, I like this arch the best. You give, it a, you give mommy a heart attack running around on the rocks? Yes. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and you know, we, we crossed over the parking lot and we went to the windows. Mm -hmm. Park in one spot and you can do both hikes. And when you go over to the windows, it's a little bit more of a hike and you could just go and look at one of the windows. I think it was the north one window. And then we went on the primitive trail hike around and we got to see both north and south windows. Yeah. That was one of my favorites because it was a little bit unexpected. We were out there all by ourselves and that's when we saw what are those called? What are they called when the rangers stack the um, little markers along the way? Don't <laughs> name for them, and if you know it, drop it in the comments below.
whole nother day was dedicated to going to Devil's Garden. Devil's Garden and Landscape Arch. And that was longer, more exposed to the sun. And really windy. So windy. Yes, that was pretty much the theme of Moab and Arches for us was wind. <laughs> yeah. When we when you first got into Devil's Garden, and you'll see in there, actually we didn't have footage of the beginning when you're walking through this narrow um, slot canyon to go on the other side to get into the Devil's Garden area. There's You feel like you're being sandblasted. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. That's how bad it was. Yeah. Uh, thank God we had some sunglasses because it, it was a lot of people who had to close their eyes and, and were following someone else that had sunglasses. It was yeah. so... So bad. Yeah. Deacon would just come up to us and like press his face. <laughs> to and not, hold on to us. Yeah, to not get it. Yeah, sand and disaster. Yeah. talked about the intensity of the hikes increased and our little guy is five man he just nailed it on that last hike mm -hmm. nice nice hand holds i like it i'm being out front of me going up these this this steep area and just to watch him look ahead and navigate that in his mind and choosing the right path to go so it's safe and he's not you know going to be on the side of the cliff and I could see his head going back and forth and his mind working and then him making the right decision. And it was just amazing to see that, that, you know, he's really got it. And so give him that encouragement and, uh, and him to be able to figure it out himself. Um, it's just, I thought it was really cool. All four boys are way more confident than I am. <laughs> yeah, we have a good time, so. But it's fun pushing yourself and each time you're a little bit more sure but it. Grandma's here. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> right, I'm gonna wait till like one, one to one thirty to eat at my food and jam. Cause. <laughs> If you don't look at the edge, then you're not going to be scared. That's right. That wasn't too hard.
also saw Devin come alive on these hikes. Everyone else was pretty much done <laughs> at, in Devil's Garden after we saw Landscape Arch and Partition Arch and Navajo. Yeah. Um, we're like all pretty good after that. And Devin was like, no, let's go. Let's go to the end and see Double O. And so that. Yeah, that wasn't originally on our plan to do. We, mm -hmm. we were just going to hike up to the top of that steep hike. And Devlin was just like, hey, let's do this. Let's continue. We're going to go on. And it was like another mile back in there. So Devin and I decided we were going to further on and do the double O arch, which we heard great things about. Right. So, so we kind of split up on that last hike. And it's because basically the order of the hikes are in order of intensity. Hey Devin, what are we doing? Double arch. Double so double arch. me and Devin are going to go do double arch and... These wimps are going back home. Everybody else right, is going to go truck. back to the truck. Back to the car. It's been a good hike. And then there was this one stretch where it's just uh, you're walking on probably a two to three foot wide rock that in this you know drops on either side. Um, and that's what turned a lot of people back that we were talking to on the way up. They're like, oh, you know, we get to this part and it was really windy. And they were concerned about being blown off. They weren't, you know, stable enough. But he, we got up there, and you'll see in the video, he's rocking it. Yeah. And just having a good time and talking to the camera. So I definitely wanted to use all the footage that he had because he was so excited about it and, and yeah. discussing it. So you'll see you'll see the difference between my footage that I, I take and then what Devin has. Um, and it, it was great. It was probably about five years ago, the boys got into rock climbing. And... Devin decided he had a fear of heights back then, and he did not want to go on rock walls. Anytime they were invited to a birthday party, it was no. And then we get out here, and he's not afraid of heights at all. So I don't know. Maybe he outgrew it. I know, but <laughs> that was surprising to me. So, yeah. Go do the aerial first. Point four. Hike into Double O Arch comes off of the hike up to what was it? Navajo and yeah, something else. Someone start with a P. Yeah, someone start with a P. It'll come to us. Yeah, someday. <laughs> Or down below. And it connects the tunnel side. Yeah, that was a pretty narrow ledge back there with a lot of winds. But it was, it was kind of sketchy. And actually, pretty sketchy. <laughs> it's been pretty cool though. We made it. Yeah, we have made it to Double Arch. Double O arch, not double arch, that's a different one. Um, it's pretty cool. It's just arches stacked on top of each other. See that trail behind us. Okay, tighten your hat. Yep, my ta my hat's already tightened. But here it is.
one is sketchy because you just try to climb up these uh, two stones. It's really windy and it's blowing that direction. And it's trying to get you to go top and over the edge. Now it's getting kind of sketchy. Oh gosh, this is it. Um, this is uh, the start of the challenging part if you're coming the other way. Um, if you're going, then it's not too bad. It is literally just hiking. Back to the landscape arch. And I've got a plug Adventuring with Kids book, and it's Utah's Big Five, The Best Hikes for Families. And that book was gold. We, it was just a playbook, and that's all reference, like the, our whole trip in all five of the national parks. And I sort of miss that now, just to have that one authority that tells you what to do, and it's simple, instead of having to go to Google for everything. Yeah, we really did enjoy those hikes. They gave us a lot of information before we went on them to see if they would get out here and do some, some cooking. Been cooking on the inside for the most part. We decided we're gonna use a little bit of the outdoor kitchen. Not quite um, using it other than we put it in our beer in the fridge. So, but we are doing some triggering. And uh, what's on the menu tonight is Chicken fajitas. Uh, the finished product. It'll cool down a little bit and we'll cut it up. Well, thanks for tuning in, you guys. It's really meaningful that you're sharing this adventure with us. Well, tune in next time as we wrap up Moab and we take you into Canyonlands and Dead Horse State Park. Okay. <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if you want uh, so to... Maybe I should say, so tune in next time. What's the trail map? So, you know, oh, yeah, I'm going to be going to be going. <laughs> Not gonna use that at all. <laughs> Deacon, go ahead. <laughs> I actually go into arches in the morning. I have a 6 a.m. you know timed entry to go into uh, <clears throat> to kick off the episode. Actually, I go into arches at 6 a.m. with a timed entry. <laughs> I got this. She's like, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Sushi in Moab. Good idea or bad idea? Tune in to find out. <laughs> Did anyone get sick? Dun, dun, dun. It wasn't good. Was it good? Yeah. I'll leave you hanging. You can kind of see out into the, the desert. Um, well, I don't know why I did desert. But you can kind of see out <laughs> into the desert. So yeah. um, I think it's going to be a great episode. Thanks for watching and... We'll catch you back on the flip side. <laughs> <laughs>